still flirt with it, we still try to kill each other and try to hurt each other, and really not knowing that it's a myth, you know? Uh, death does not exist, and you cannot kill someone that, that is eternal and immortal. But we try, until we start realizing that it, it, it's, it's not something you do. And once you realize that, you start looking at other ways of doing things. Uh, for me, I wrote a, my little book called I Am My Body, not, and uh, I've got a copy of it for people to look at and to just say, oh no, that's right, I had it up in the video, so you, you've got a, kind of a glimpse of it. But as it related to the production of Sun Ra, Collected Works, Volume 1, Immeasurable Equation, I was still somewhat of a, and had a um, quandary at one point uh, on how to actually do it. I had these, uh, I had these beautiful poems, and it was very clear that Sun Ra was a master with the with words. Uh, and you know, you can't say that today with a lot of the uh, uh, lyrics and artists you, you, you hear out there. I mean, <laughs> people write today, and they don't think so much about what they're actually saying, or, or they're not presented that well. But this man knew how to write, he knew how to communicate and express himself. And, um, but at, in a few occasions, on, on every once in a while, I would read something that did not quite feel right. And I can't tell you what they were, you know, it was pinpoint them at this moment, but when they came, you know, well, I got a question about this, you know, and what do you do? What do you do when the author of, of the, because uh, I, I wear a lot of hats. You saw photography, you saw many other things. I wear whatever hat needs to be worn at the moment. And uh, so outside of being the production coordinator for, uh, and production manager for the book and publisher, I was also the editor. Uh, but what do you do when you're, you're writing something and you want to be true to the real meaning of the author and the author is, quote unquote, dead. Well, fortunately, I come to a certain, to a point in my life, and a point in my understanding of the nature of things and my or belief, or however you want to say it, but I was confident enough to ask the author himself. And uh, so when I get in the quandary, and I, I've done this for over 20 years, it didn't, it didn't start with this, with this particular thing, but this was, this it came in really handy, but I pretty much asked for guidance. I connected with uh, the energy, the intelligence, if you will, of Sun Ra, the spirit of Sun Ra, and in some cases, in uh, my dad. And when I had a question that I did not know the answer, I got answers from them directly. And, uh, and they always felt right, and the one, I don't know, you know, you talk about metaphysical, this, this is like, well, did you hold a seance? Well, in a way of speaking, <laughs> you might say, I, I, some people might call it that. Uh, but it, it, it wasn't, it was pretty simple, you know, it, it's not a lot of ceremony to it. But I was able to get the answers to the questions I needed that felt right. And, uh, and then, um, and actually get through, uh, it, it actually worked out very well. So, um, I'd have to say five years ago, 10 years ago, uh, I would have had a problem sharing something like this. And, and maybe uh, when I look at what the group, uh, the, the orchestra, the positions that they took and the time that they took it, and I see I am just running around, I mean, we get to the end of this thing, aren't we? Uh, I am, uh, I'm encouraged and I am, uh, I'm awed by the position that they took so many years ago um, to, to be contemporaries of, of Barry Gordy, for example. I mean, uh, you know, everyone knows the Motown story. Uh, and, you know, we all want to sing about love and talk about it and sing about being wrong and whatever else, you know. I mean, it, it's, it's part of our culture. Uh, but the people that, to take a position in the late 50s about being in space and, and uh, you know, and say other planes of there. I mean, some of this made no sense at all. Uh, but 
to be, and, 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 and as time has come, it's like we're caught up with them, we're catching up with them. I mean, we're still catching up because I think they, they understood, they had realized some things that we are still opening ourselves up to. And um, I'm just, uh, I have to mention uh, James Bryant too. Uh, after my dad passed away, uh, uh, I got to be really good friends with James. I knew him all of my life. I mean, every time, I, just about every time I saw my dad, James was somewhere near around doing something. Okay, thank you. And, um, but after dad passed, James kept the spirit of what they all had started alive. Uh, he embodied that spirit, and uh, I believe, and I'm ha I, I believe, I can confidently say that in me, he also realized that I, I did have it too, and uh, we we really became much closer. Uh, well, we had each other, so to speak, and we realized we did afterwards. Uh, so. In many ways, I'm, I'm, this is an honor. This, is, this weekend, this, this week has been uh, a true uh, revelation for me. I am grateful uh, from the bottom of my heart to John and Terry for uh, the stewardship they have uh, demonstrated in, in collecting this material and honoring it and honoring the people behind it uh, and presenting it in a way that uh, that the public can can embrace, can be proud of, uh, and also can, can share with others. Uh, we have the sense that this is an idea, this is a concept. You know, Sun Ra is the greatest story yet to be told, uh, but I think the time is coming uh, and has come for it to begin. Uh, today is 11-11-2006. Uh, uh, I'm understanding in, in metaphysical and cosmic circles that this is a very important date, uh, a date of uh, new beginnings, a date of amplification, a date of visualiz visualizing and manifesting. And I think this is a wonderful beginning of uh, something wonderful to be manifest. And I think that's probably enough to say. Thank you very much.